Hey guys. Hey guys. So it looks like I totally screwed up that last video. <laughs> I thought that I had um, uh, filmed more than that. Uh, it looks like I just um, am standing there and then I turned it off. But um, what I had read to say was thank you to Steve for the initial um, Amazon allowance. It, I was on the phone with Amazon for about an hour um, talking about some other things and then I noticed that the allowance was supposed to come through today and I was like well this must be a mistake you know it is set up or whatever and the guy you know wasn't familiar with with the whole concept anyways so he was looking into it and then he figured out that it was turned off and I was like oh <laughs> So, so I got the first, the first one, which was really nice, but the every two week allowance is, is not happening. So I was a little bummed about that because it was really exciting, um, to think that, you know, I'd be able to have an allowance, but, um, but that's okay. I appreciated the first one, so I just wish it hadn't come through like that because I was pretty excited, but anyways um and I, I still don't know who steve is so thank you steve um I, I mean it was very cool to to do that and not uh really take any credit for it so um i thought that was really cool um but uh let's see so i went to best buy to kind of take a look at cameras and what would be good to get um and I, you know, do not have enough money on Amazon or enough gift cards on Amazon in order to, to buy a camera and, um, happened to get, um, uh, I, I sold some slippers to, um, an old friend of mine, um, and it was really supposed to be money for going to the hospital, um, for my deductible so I feel really really bad right now for buying a camel <laughs> but I did I went and I was just like fuck it and it's a really nice camera I have no fucking idea how to really use it so um, when I get home I am gonna mess around with it and see what I can do but it is one of the ones where It's a DSLR and it um, is ideal for YouTubers and I got a little tripod for it and it came with a microphone and uh, I got a flash thing that will work while I'm outside so I mean it's pretty freaking spiffy but um, but that was expensive as fuck and I don't have a job and I don't have any money and I'm supposed to be going to the hospital um so I'm a little worried about that now but um it doesn't look like I'm going to the hospital for a little while anyways so uh update I did go to the psychiatric hospital I don't think I shared that um I checked myself in um on Monday last week Monday in the late afternoon and so I made it over to uh, Porter's behavioral health <laughs> that's what they call it rather than psychiatric hospital <laughs> they call it the behavioral health center um, but I did that um, until Friday and it was fantastic like I mean there's of course a bunch of crazies around but you know I kept to myself most of the time and I read and my room had a nice south facing view so it was sunny and that made me feel good and they um it was just really nice it was a nice um a nice little break I guess from the real world and um and I was doing just so good and you know they I was there voluntarily um 
you know, I had suicidal ideations, but um, I didn't hurt myself in order to get in there, so I wasn't concerned that I had to stay. But um, looking back, I wish that they would have actually um, certified me so I would have stayed longer. Because right when I got out, I just got super depressed right away. And I've been holding on to that, and I haven't really been able to do much. Um, I've been trying to um, even um, stay in touch with friends, and it's just, it's so hard. Like, I just am, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but days are just passing by and I'm not doing anything. So the fact that I'm out right now is kind of a big deal, and so I'm going to actually go walk around Nordstrom Rack, even though I don't have any money to spend, but I'm going to go do that just to kind of be out. Um, and then I intend to catch up on Richard's videos, um, because my mom is out of town, so, um, I have a little bit more time. Not that I don't have time anyways, but I just haven't been able to actually just sit still and do anything, um, so I need to do that. And, uh, love you, Richard, I fly, um got your email and I read it and just obviously need to watch the videos to get caught up so um so um so I will be doing that if not tonight tomorrow since I'm not doing anything tomorrow either um and what else has been going on my foot has been killing me, my back has been killing me, the weather here is like, it's freaking like super sunny today, what does the car say that the, um, uh, let's see, it says it is, did I start this same? Uh, let's do reverse, 53 degrees out, which is really nice, um, but like, last night it was like frozen so when the weather starts doing the up and down shit like oh my god my back is fucking killing me and I just really need to get this injection for my foot but um I was supposed to do it before January 1st then it was supposed to be um January 28th they had to push it back because uh, my doctor was in a trial for I'm assuming a car accident type thing, um, and then my, her, his assistant didn't check with my insurance quick enough or something, and they didn't approve it on time, I don't know what happened exactly, but then it got pushed out to February 11th, and I'm like, <sighs> like, I've been dying, like, it's horrible, and there's nothing I can do about it, which sucks, so, um, there's that. Like, medicine doesn't even, because it's RSD and it's like a nerve thing, like, even strong pain meds don't, don't fix that, which is so frustrating, because it's like, why would they fix it, but, because, I guess it's because it's some sort of different type of receptor or something, I don't know, um, but, yeah, it hurts so bad, and luckily the meds help with my back, but, um, it's been hurting a lot too, so that for me. Um, on the eating disorder front, um, everyone is worried I'm gonna die, so that's fun. Um, I feel like I've been eating a ton, which I know in reality I'm not, but I'm eating some, so, and I feel like a cow. Um, Yeah, I'd rather be losing weight than pretty much just maintaining the same weight. I think my body's just like, meh, we're not going to do that anymore. Um, so I'm like trying to push myself even harder, and then I'm like, oh, I'm about to get my period. Maybe that's why I'm not losing weight, but I haven't lost weight in like a month. So in the hospital, I lost weight, and then 
came home and had like a cup of coffee and gained it back so that was weird um but anyways so the plan kind of is to go to Nebraska with my dad he wants to drive um so he's gonna fly here and then we're gonna drive to Nebraska so we have time to talk um and then drive back after we we're gonna do my grandma's burial which she was cremated <laughs> sorry um she was cremated we haven't been waiting this long that'd be horrible I don't think they do that anyways but um so do that I got my hair done yesterday that made me happy um it yesterday yeah no Monday um and I have my psychiatrist appointment and my psychiatrist is wonderful with so many things with me like he's just he knows what I react to like we just really have this good bond and everything with that but um when it comes to Jim he is so harsh he just doesn't like even after a month after Jim died he was like oh are we not over this yet and it was like seriously and he says that every time I'm there he says that I am romanticizing his death and all this stuff and it's like I'm not you know how do you just get over you know losing your only sibling or even just a sibling family or anyone to at all but particularly at such a young age and the way that he that he died I mean it's just I just don't get it and he doesn't agree with me whatsoever on that and so when I was in the hospital they thought that I should get grief counseling which I think is a great idea but it really sucks that you know he's my psychiatrist he's my go-to and it, rather than giving me help with that he's basically just telling me that that my brother was like a worthless person um, because he chose to end his life that way and um, that because he did drugs which he he didn't do drugs or you know he wasn't doing drugs he you know was very dependent on his medication um, but but he's saying that he's a worthless person because of that and it's like uh, that's like what a quarter of our population that you know is in AA and things like that I mean are they worthless people I mean they at one point weren't sober so I mean it's just it really and he actually specializes or did specialize in like addiction medicine so I'm like how can you have such a that sort of perspective um, when a lot of the patients you were even treating you know were struggling with that so um, I don't know I don't get it I, otherwise he's great but um, you know oops, he you know and I know the focus needs to be on my eating disorder but where did that come back from obviously you know it started Oops, when I was younger because of you know abuse and molestation and things like that but uh, it came back because of my brother so if we're looking for the root of things that's the root so you know it's just bleh, it's our appointments have been kind of frustrating lately so anyways um, well I'm gonna drive across the parking lot and go in there and um, talk to you guys soon. Maybe I'll get this camera thing figured out too and get a video up tonight or tomorrow or something with that. Okay, and um, oh, and I figured out this uh, really cool way, other than Amazon, which you know, Amazon gift cards, thank you, vividly generic at AOL.com vividly generic at aol.com is where they go to but there's also this thing called google wallet and um that is a way to receive money just like that you just send it to my email 
Um, and I can use that to my deck to bow. All right, love you guys. Mwah.